Does the Osmo Pocket live up to all of the freaking hype that it's generating? Let's talk about it. What's up, y'all? Tyson here, Terry Warfare. I'm back for another video. Hope you're having a great day so far. Remember to be thankful for your life today because you did not have to have that. Let's get on with the meat potatoes. First of all, I do not script videos, so your boy might mess up. Second of all, yes, DJI did provide me pre-release with the Osmo Pocket 3. That does not mean that I'm not going to give my opinion unless I'm paid for an overview, which is not my opinion, which this video is not. These are my honest thoughts and opinions the good the bad and the ugly I'm not holding anything back when it comes to the Osmo Pocket 3 now if you never seen this thing before if you don't know what it is or if you're just starting to go down the rabbit hole basically it's a tiny camera with the gimbal on top with a rotating screen that goes back and forth that can film in portrait and landscape gives you smooth footage at all times it's got a one inch sensor built into it it can film in d-log it can film in hdr it's got motion time lapse hyperlapse live streaming all <laughs> like the list goes on and on and on on what this little camera is and look look how tiny it is right so with that being said there's two packages the first package is the standard combo which if you can i would avoid because it's 519 dollars so you don't really get too many things with it and the creator combo is so much better of a value although it's more expensive at 669 bucks let me show you what you get with the creator combo this is the pouch that comes with the creator combo and there's a whole bunch of freaking goodies on the inside starting with this little carrying protective case now the standard combo also comes with it so up top there is a slot for the wide angle adapter that does come with the creator combo takes you from about 20 millimeter to 15 millimeter by the way the main camera is a one inch sensor paired with the 20 millimeter f2 equivalent lens okay now that we got that out the way there's another slot on here for a pro mist filter or you can stick an indie filter here but again this comes with the standard combo if we get on to the creator combo all of these goodies in here man so first of all we got the battery extension grip we'll talk about this more in a little bit it comes with another extension handle right here this is just like a, a dummy one i say because it doesn't have any electronics on the inside of it it does come with the dji mic too which this thing is freaking fantastic we'll talk more about this in a second comes with this little cute tripod right here you flip the legs open and now you got a tabletop solution to put the osmo pocket on and the pouch right now you can purchase nd filters with it these are DJI's. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these because they only come in 1664 and 256. Well, what about 32 and 128? Fortunately, more third party companies are starting to develop more complete kits. And lastly, if you wanted to, you can buy, where is it? Where is it? This thing right here, which I'm going to show you what this is. So this is a mount for the Osmo Pocket 3. You clamp it on here and basically it allows you, if I can actually get it in place, to mount it to GoPro style accessories. You can put a microphone on the side because there's a cold shoe mount and overall just gives you more protection. However, this is sold separately. So all of that comes in the creator combo. So if you can, even if it means holding out a little while, I would get the creator combo over the standard combo. And while I have this thing in my hand, let's talk real quick about build, durability, all that stuff, because honestly, this is where I have some concerns because this thing is expensive at 670 bucks for the combo. So. There have been people online already who have screens that have stopped rotating, which means they're stuck. There's also people that have fixed it by popping the screen off and then popping it back on there and then it functions normally, but that's a lot of money for that to be happening. I'm not saying that happens to everybody, didn't happen to me, but just be mindful of that. And also, I did drop it yesterday and now I got this sound coming from the gimbal. Okay, that wasn't there to my knowledge yesterday. So that does worry me when it comes to long-term durability. And also, I wish that it did have some type of freaking weather sealing, but it doesn't. Anyways, aside from those things, the build quality is fine. It feels great. The screen rotates easily. Um, I haven't had any trouble out of my screen so far. The buttons work fine. And overall, it's a tiny camera that has a gimbal on top that can fit in your hand. So W for the size. Now I wanna talk about image quality, resolutions, codecs, and all that stuff, because this is where I have some mixed feelings. So first of all, I wanna bring the Sony ZV-1 Mark II in this equation. Now, I don't know if you've seen this comparison yet. It may have went up before this video or after. Either way, it's coming or it's already here, right? But for comparison's sake, this also has a one inch sensor in it. This can only shoot 4K 30. The Osmo Pocket can shoot 4K 30, it can shoot 4K 60, it can shoot 4K 120 in horizontal and vertical formats for short form people, and you even have one-to-one -one options in video. The image quality, 
out of this thing for it to be a one inch sensor is fantastic i want to say this real quick okay there's so many of y'all that are like oh my zve1 can shoot better quality or my freaking sony fx6 or my lumix gh19 can shoot better quality and i just want to tell all y'all man shut up okay this is a tiny tiny sensor in your pocket and for what it is the image quality is fantastic i've been blown away in normal conditions and in low light conditions on how good the image quality out of this camera is now it does film in 10-bit color it also has 10-bit d log m which if you don't know how to color grade and all that stuff listen let me just put these on the screen for you real quick Okay, so if you have no idea how to freaking color grade, but you want to extract like the best quality out of the Osmo Pocket, film a D-Log M and then grab those LUTs that I made. These are custom LUTs. They have conversions, color graded, all that stuff built in. And there's freaking nine of them. All you got to do is slap it right on top of the footage and it takes care of everything for you. So the image quality is fantastic. The dynamic range is fantastic. I think DJI does do some like hidden processing because for example, I'll bring the ZV-1 back into the picture. There are times where with these being you know pretty comparable sensors not the same sensor okay but comparable in a lot of ways that the zv1 just can't protect the highlights or it crushes the shadows well the osmo pocket this could be a dynamic range thing i could be wrong but i feel like there's processing going on because it retains all the detail when you have the camera on any automatic mode the sky is never blown out the shadows are never crushed and your face is always perfectly exposed so i feel like there's some processing going on in there there's not a way to turn it off but you could just flip it over to manual to combat it with that being said my only gripes and they're actually not won't say my only gripes because there's a few of them i don't understand why we can't get slow-mo in the same menu as video maybe this is something small let me pull the camera just a tad bit closer okay that irks my nerves when i hit the mode button there's a video Huh. and we're gonna talk about the screen in a second when i hit the mode button there's a video there's a slow-mo and there's a low light mode i would love for slow-mo to be in the same video menu as the regular video now there's some caveats slow-mo only works in landscape not portrait low light mode only works in landscape not portrait and it's very strange to me that the osmo pocket has a very similar gimbal mechanism as dji's mini 3 pro mini 3 and mini 4 pro which those fully run rotate and give you a 9 by 16 4k image well the osmo pocket does not give you a 9 by 16 4k image as an option only a cropped 3k so maybe dji is planning to update this in the future but right now it's only a 3k image now to the osmo pocket's advantage you can you know customize the amount of noise reduction if you go into the menu and you go over to image adjustment you can customize how much noise reduction and sharpening is applied so that's a w but also when it comes to control and manual mode if you have it in any type of manual mode you do get an ev meter up here on the screen i just wish that we had a way to see what our shutter speed our iso and all that stuff were without digging through the menu like i wish there was a way that we could put it on the freaking screen versus having to press you know the exposure button and then go through all the menus and all that stuff and i get it might not be possible due to the ui but it is what it is now since we talk about ui let's bring that up real quick actually the ui out this camera is very very responsive in every single pretty much scenario i don't really have any complaints except for the fact that sometimes it's too freaking responsive i'm gonna give you an example so if i go into manual mode over here right i go to exposure if I want to adjust my shutter speed, sometimes it overshoots. It did it right there. Sometimes it's like I can't let it go at the perfect moment for it to stop where I want it to. And of course, right now, it's working perfectly. But I feel like sometimes it is a little bit too finicky. Overall, though, image quality-wise, all of the different codecs, options, resolutions, uh, aspect ratios, really, really good. Regular quality video is great. Low light mode is also really great. You can crank it to freaking 16,000 ISO and surprisingly it looks clean and usable. So W when it comes to image quality. All right, stabilization is pretty much probably the easiest part of this whole video because it has a whole freaking mechanical gimbal on top, which means under all circumstances, the video is freaking mad smooth. Whether you're walking, whether you're running, whether there's low light, no matter what the case may be, the video feed is always smooth because you have a mechanical gimbal right on top. With this though, 
Now it has phase detect autofocus, which gives us Active Track 6.0. With Active Track, it just means that it tracks really, really good. It's really sticky. When it sees your face, it locks onto it like, come here, like it won't freaking let your face go. There's an option in the menu for dynamic framing, which will let you track anything else on the screen in the frame and use the gimbal at the same time, or you could just double tap on the screen and it'll start the track automatically, okay? Anyways, the autofocus is really sticky, the gimbal is fantastic, stable footage, tracking, all that good stuff, really, really good. Now let's talk about built-in mics because the built-in mics are actually freaking dope. So first of all, it does have USB-C, which means you can plug up USB-C microphones like the DJI mic, the original ones, and you can use a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter if you wanted to hook up like a shotgun mic or any other type of microphone. And if you get the creator combo, where is that DJI mic too? Here it is right here. This thing is dope. Now, before I talk about this, I wish that the Osmo Pocket had a headphone jack so that we can monitor audio. That would be crazy dope or a way that we can connect Bluetooth headphones. That would be crazy dope if there is a way to do it. I haven't discovered it as of yet, but when it comes to mic quality, internal mics are great. And the receiver for the DJI Mic 2 is built into the Osmo Pocket, which is crazy dope. Now, the DJI Mic 2 also records a 32-bit float. So when you press record on the Osmo Pocket, it'll automatically start internal recording if you set this up in the menu on the DJI Mic 2. So even though we don't have a way to monitor our audio, still we got a 32-bit float option, which is dope. Now, I can also hook up a USB mic if I wanted to, or like a USB-C to a 3.5 millimeter microphone dongle to plug in any other 3.5 mic but audio wise we are covered now battery life is also really really good and i promise y'all i'm not hyping this i could get like an hour and 20 minutes recording with the osmo pocket 3 without charging it and it charges mad fast it could go from zero to like 80 percent in like 16 17 minutes or zero to 100 percent in 32 freaking minutes so it charges real fast and if you get the creator combo you get this battery grip that you pop onto the bottom of the osmo pocket and it gives you about another 63 percent capacity so it charges the osmo pocket battery life is great and when it comes to connectivity because it's got built-in bluetooth and wi-fi honestly out of all the cameras i own Own. this is the most reliable i don't know how dji is doing it but every time i connect to the dji memo app it's problem free it never loses connection i do love how this has live streaming built in dji said at the beginning that it will be able to live stream in 4k i haven't seen that option 1080p 30 is the highest that it'll go right now maybe that's coming in a firmware update also being able to track yourself with the gimbal and active track while live streaming and you can use the dji mic too so you have a wire this audio solution while you're live streaming is it's crazy fire okay there's some things i don't like though and I, i made a little list some of these things i talked about real quick and i'm about to run out of storage okay i wish there was a way that they would give us true 9 by 16 and 4k i talked about the display being finicky i do wish we had more control over like our exposure adjustments so as an example if i go into my menu right here and i go to exposure and i go to iso typically iso ranges on cameras go like 100 200 320 400 500 600 40, 800, 1,000, 1,250, so on and so forth. A lot of steps are missing in the Osmo Pocket, and I find that strange because that makes it a little difficult to get perfect exposure outside if you don't have the correct ND filters. I wish there was a way that DJI could give us a built-in display LUT, even if it was just the standard DJI Rec. 709 conversion so that when we use log, we don't have to see log on the screen, we see a regular profile. And the last thing I really want to say is I wish that we had higher megapixel still images, okay? Nine megapixels in 2023 just doesn't cut it. Now, I get DJI probably chose a lower resolution sensor to be better in low light performance and so that we can have 4K 120 and stuff like that, but it still would have been nice. Overall, to answer the question, do I think that the Osmo Pocket 3 is overhyped? That answer is absolutely not. This is the most exciting, most fun, most well-received camera of 2023 for good reason. If you are looking for a content creator camera, okay, and this is this is important, okay, you need to think about your trajectory before you buy this camera. If this is just going to be a secondary camera to a main camera, or if you have no desire to potentially in six months get into photography or more advanced filmmaking and stuff, then this is a great camera to have. But if you only have 700 bucks, I'm about to run out of storage, if you only have 700 bucks and 
you think maybe in a few months you might want to change courses, then maybe this isn't the best case for you. But you need to think about that. If you have the spare money to buy this plus a regular camera and just use this as your content creation, live streaming, short form camera that can do all of this stuff with crazy stabilized footage and active track and <laughs> great image quality, great battery life, great stabilization, live streaming, all that stuff built in. I cannot not recommend this freaking camera to you. So I'm out of time. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Make sure you grab those LUTs if you want to do some color grading. And until next time, it's worth the hype. Go get you one. I'm out of here. Tight shirt, Terry Warfield. Piece of chicken grease. I'm out. Peace. I think I'm playing chess. I see a king. I'm at his neck. I'm three steps ahead of every move. Now that's a check. Yes, they want to know my secret. It's because I never slept. All my nightmares of me at 40, life's a wreck. See my dad, he in debt. And my mom, she upset. That's way back when 408 on Seminole.